Why do we produce earwax? Because the ear needs protection. Your ear canal is exposed. No eyelid, no filter, no barrier. So the body came up with its own. It's made by glands inside the ear canal. Natural oils, sweat and dead skin all combine to form a sticky waxy layer that traps dust, dirt, bacteria and even insects. It's waterproof, antibacterial, antifungal. It's more than just gunk. It's a defense system. Earwax even has a built-in exit strategy. The skin inside your ear canal slowly migrates outwards like a conveyor belt. And when you move your jaw, chewing, talking, yawning, that movement helps nudge the wax along. Over time, it carries trapped debris out towards the ears opening. No tools, no poking, just your body doing what it was designed to do. But like any system, it doesn't always work perfectly. In teenagers and young adults, the glands can be overactive. They produce more oil, more wax, and when you throw in constant headphone use, it can build up faster than it can clear. Later in life, the opposite happens. Those same glands slow down. Less oil means drier wax, it hardens, it sticks, and it stops moving. Now, for some people, a few drops of olive oil or wax softening drops can help keep things flowing, but when that's not enough, the smart move is to see a professional, someone who can deal with it safely and properly.